Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I'd like to address how to add the uh, or use the item master to add inventory uh, to your storerooms. So now that we have an item master, it's kind of filled out. Uh, we're we're ready to to start adding it. The status is active. I'm gonna go to the storeroom tab, and here we can see all the storerooms that this is currently residing in. All right, we have a basic set of information here. And we have the stock category, which is stock, STK, uh, and non-stock. So this has to deal with reorder information. So if it's stocked, it'll be considered in reorder points, and non-stocked isn't acknowledged by reorder points. So we have cost information, first in, first out unit cost information, current balance, default bins, if any, status uh, of the inventory line, and then the site. So in order to add our inventory, uh, we're going to go ahead and add items to storeroom. So here's the site, and we can see here we have Fleet and Bedford. Uh, I'm going to leave it Bedford, but I'm going to pick up a different storeroom, I hope. So we'll go to Select Value. Uh, uh, it's probably already in Garage. We're going to go Central Storeroom. And it's going to say, currently exist in that storeroom. <laughs> All right. So then we're going to go select value again, and we're going to go to the garage. Yeah. Okay, so now it's asking us for some information. Uh, we're going to expand the line, and, and look, condition code is new. Uh, it's, it's asking us, uh, uh, or it's telling us the only thing we can add through this is new. Uh, so it's read only. Uh, there's no lot because remember it's not lotted. Issue cost is average. It's going to ask for an uh, issue cost, so I'm going to do 285 as it was before. Default bin. I'm going to put this in the uh, what's it, uh, 27R2, 27R2 bin, uh, and I'm going to say current balance. We're going to have uh, 12 tires. Uh, issue unit's going to be each. And this is all really important information. Uh, fill out uh, all the information you can because this is all going over to the inventory line. So if this information is incomplete, then your inventory line is going to be incomplete. And that's kind of silly. So, and then consignment. Consignment's another uh, whole other video in and of itself, or maybe even multiple videos. Uh, so we're not going to use consignment. So we check the, our information. It's all clear and correct. We click OK. Now, we can see the in storeroom garage. Uh, this is now a stocked item. And here's the cost. So, in order to verify that, I'm going to copy the item master. We're going to draw jump right over to inventory. All right. And I'm going to put that item master in. The site is Bedford. I'm just going to hit enter. And it's in two spots, right? So here's it's in central with zero balance. And here's our 12 in, in the garage, right? So we're going to come down here. Here's the condition rate, right? Uh, here's the, the bin. Lot. Here's the current balance, physical count. Uh, physical count date and time. It's the date and time I'm making this video. It's going to automatically show up reconciled because we made it uh, through a different application. There's the default bin right there. Now the default bin set for the inventory. So anytime we try to add the tires, it's going to automatically want to send them to this bin. That's why it's called the default. Uh, so just be mindful of that going through. Default stage bin. Uh, we'll get into stage bin when we get into inventory. Uh, so everything looks really good. So that's how you add inventory levels to your storerooms through the Item Master application. Uh, if you have any questions or, or any comments, please add them in the, uh, the field below. And as always, thank you for watching.